Like and subscribe right now for amazing luck for the next week. Make sure to watch today's full video to see an optical illusion where I will tell you your name. And not just that, but comment your answers to the optical illusions down below in the comment section as we go along. Speaking of reflections, take a look at this. This couple decide to go into an aquatic area or an aquarium or something, and they end up taking a photo of her kissing her husband or her future husband. Oh, they are probably husbands now because he's seen her. But he ends up kissing her. But look at the reflection. It looks like she's kissing one of the fish or shark that is going by. How perfectly timed and hilarious is that? Now I got a pretty fun optical illusion trick for you. All right, so you guys, this right here is crazy. So how do you remove one of these glasses from the tray? Look closely and comment down below how you think you can remove it. Is this Christmas tree projecting out or is it projecting in? I have no idea which way it's going, you guys, but I want to know which way you think it's going. So, of course, comment down below. Do you think the Christmas tree is projecting out or in? Oh my goodness, you guys. So right here, can you see anything wrong in this photo? At first, I couldn't find anything. So I'm going to give you guys a few seconds. Look closely. What is wrong with this photo? Because, hey, you go on vacation, you're going to take photos, you post them on social media to look cool to your friends and look good to your friends, right? Well, if you... Well, I won't spoil anything yet. What do you think is wrong with this photo? Now, you guys, let's take a closely look at this couple. As we zoom in, uh, hello, that looks like that palm tree is in front of her arm? Like, this right here makes no sense. Like, is that her other boyfriend and she's holding the palm tree? Like, come on. If you're gonna Photoshop, make sure you do a good job at least. Oh, that's embarrassing. Right now, it looks like we have this weird piece of art, right? Well, you guys, not just do we have a super cool, bright piece of art. There is also a hidden word inside of this image. If you can find the hidden word, comment down below what it is. But there is no chance you'll be able to get this. Because supposedly only 1% of people can find the hidden word. But if you can find it, comment down below what it is. Okay, you guys, so the hidden word inside of this image is actually the word more. M-O-R-E. Were you able to find this, or was it too hard? This right here is one of the craziest optical illusions I've ever seen. If you follow the movement of the rotating pink dot, you'll see one color, and that is pink. But you guys, if you actually end up staring at that black cross in the middle and stare, that missing space, the dot that doesn't appear anymore, will actually turn green. This right here, I believe, is called the Lilac Chase Effect, and it is crazy how this works. Try it for yourself. Stare at the middle of the cross, and you'll see. Okay, you guys, inside of this photo right here, the first thing that drew your attention was probably that bright fox in the middle, right? Well, you guys, not just is there only a fox here, there's actually a lot of different things inside of here that have been camouflaged. And um, I really want to know what you guys see inside this photo. Personally, right now, just as a quick look of an eye, I see an Indian, a Native American man, and a couple horses. Look closely into here and see what you can find. Because I know for a fact there's a lot more than that. So take a look and comment down below what you see. Oh no! By the looks of this photo, it looks as if that person's house on the hill is on fire! But you guys, wrong! It is not on fire at all. What's crazy about this is there is actually just a wood fire stove inside the house. So when they take the photo out of the window, it's actually just a reflection from inside the house. Did this worry you or did you know it was just a reflection? Right now, it looks like we're just at the boonies, you know, we're out in the middle of some farmer's field. But you guys, she actually has a herd of 500 sheep. However, though, you guys, this was a really cold morning, and she woke up to this. The question is, though, 
where are her sheep? Because none of them can even be spotted. But you guys, there is actually a ton of sheep in this photo right now. Look closely, and are you able to find the sheep? The herd was perfectly in line, you guys, and they were just playing hide and seek with the owner of the farm. As we keep zooming in closer and closer and we look and we jump through these images, we actually can see all the sheep. Were you able to find these or was it too hard? Okay, what do you see in this photo here? There is this random black thing on this person's lap, but I have no idea what it is. I need to know, what do you guys see? Are you able to figure out what is actually in this guy's lap? I really, is it a shadow or something? <laughs> Comment down below your answer. Okay, some people have tattoos, some people don't like tattoos, but this right here is probably one of the craziest tattoos I've ever seen. This artist made it designed as if this thing or creature or whatever this thing is trying to project out of his skin. This is probably one of the most artistic tattoos I've ever laid my eyes on. But the question is, is this an alien? Or what is this thing? Comment down below what you would call this creature. Yes, guys, in today's video, I am going to be telling you your name. So right now, I need you to go get a calculator, a pen, and a paper, and I will now guess your name. But before we begin, make sure you drop a like and subscribe and comment name down below in the comment section. All right, let's do this. Now that you have your pen and paper, find each letter from your name in this table and assign it to a letter in the alphabet. For example, Sam would be S equals 19, A equals one, M equals 13. Do this for your own name and write it down on paper. Now join all the numbers together. Multiply this number with two now. The final step, divide your answer by two. Okay, now just change your number into alphabets from this table. There you go. You just got your beautiful, amazing name. Did it work for you? Let me know in the comments below. Well, there you have it, you guys. If you enjoyed today's video, go down below and hit that subscribe button. And also hit the like button and tap on another video you see on the screen right now to watch more videos just like this one. And I'll see you over in that video.